Good evening and welcome to our daily news program on Channel 10 News Phoenix. We're going to start off today with something a little unusual, African killer bees. Let's go over with Ian, who met with an attack victim. Thanks, Scott. I'm here with Patrick Artur, who was viciously attacked by killer bees earlier today. Would you mind tell us, telling us what happened? Well, I was working in my garden today, and I was digging some holes for some plants I was going to grow. But I guess I set off the bees because all of a sudden I saw a bunch of them buzzing towards me. And so I got up and ran inside, but they already stung me a bunch of times. Well, today we have a biologist from ABEP who can fill in all the facts for you. Well, thank you for having me. And I'd first like to start off with how these African bees got to Africa. In 1950, they were brought over from Africa to Brazil. And then in 1957, 26 queen bees escaped quarantine, spreading them throughout North, South, and Central America. These bees have affected many ecosystems, including our own here in Arizona. These bees are similar to European bees in the fact that they look almost the same and have very similar venom. But African bees are far more aggressive. Also, when a European hive is attacked, only about 10% of the bees will come out and swarm. If an African beehive is attacked, yeah, almost all the bees in the hive will swarm. This making them more aggressive, so an attack would be, is more dangerous. Hence why Patrick got so, so many stings during his attack. These African bees have affected our ecosystem significantly. From the cacti, rabbits, snakes and coyotes, along with the decomposers such as the earthworms and dung beetles, everything has been affected. The cacti are used sometimes as uh, plants in people's homes. Rabbits. Uh, can be domesticated as pets, snakes and coyotes help limit the mice population here in Arizona, and the decomposers can decompose soil for gardeners. These African bees have significantly affected our ecosystem because they are so vicious in their attacks, they've killed off many animals, and over time this could become a very large problem. This is something that is a very big concern for the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality. And I would just like to finish this off by giving some bee safety. So, these bees are very aggressive. So if you get attacked, you're going to want to run about the length of two football fields because they can't fly that fast or that long. So once you get there, you're going to want to go inside, and if you have more than 30 stings, you should want to consult a doctor. That's all from me. Thanks for having me in. Thank you for all the inter information, Jacob. Do you have anything else you have to say, Patrick? Uh, sure, and I'd just like to say these African bees are very dangerous and should be taken very seriously in Arizona. Well said, Patrick. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for, for, for coming.